I've got my Walker's silencer Bluetooth earbuds in because it's probably going to be loud enough to crack my ears. I, I've got pretty bad tinnitus as it is. Probably wake up the neighborhood here. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody knows I'm shooting something now. Yeah, that, that, that almost sounds like a firearm. Probably some people think I'm shooting a firearm right now. And I'm glad I've got Ear Pro on for sure. What a big difference. I mean, it shouldn't be that surprising. Let me quick switch these. Oop, I'll find it later. And this index is off of the frame, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Huge difference. Massive difference. That's a really good can. Oh, yeah. gone from me thinking I'm going to get some emails later to if they're if they're not outside they're probably not going to hear anything and if they're outside it doesn't sound like anything like using a, a hammer to drive nails is louder than that like by a lot that's awesome hey thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang Air Force Air Guns is known for making the world's most powerful air guns. You pick a barrel length, you pick a bore, and if Air Force Air Guns make something in that category, it's probably the world's most powerful. That's certainly the case with the Talon P, which is their pistol size 25 caliber utility air gun, as Air Force categorizes it. It's powerful enough to take out nuisance animals, but its short barrel and high power make it pretty loud. Plus, its small barrel means that you put a standard Air Force butt stock on the back and you might feel pretty cramped behind an optic. That's why Air Gun Depot approached them to make their exclusive Talon P carbine, which adds a moderator to the front. Plus a really slick adjustable butt stock. To the back. It keeps the compact packability of the standard Talon P and turns it into a quiet hunter that makes taking shots of opportunity even easier. And that's why it's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Talon P carbine should be really familiar to everyone who's familiar with the original Talon P, except it includes an adjustable stock, this sound moderator, and with the Air Gun Depot package, this red dot from Hawk. It's natural for people to make the assumption that the Talon P is integrally suppressed because the Talon SS basically extends this tube out to about here and then it has an integral suppressor in a tube that looks just like this. But they want to include a 12 inch Lothar Walter barrel in the Talon P, which means that this is just long enough to have that barrel with no integral suppression. The moderator is based on a design that's in the Texan LSS, which is an incredible integrally suppressed gun because it's so powerful and yet it's so quiet at the same time, but they obviously modified it. In addition to being shorter and having a tighter bore, it's designed to screw into the end of the frame. You see the threads are in the frame and you can see that the barrel is set back and it is actually braced on the interior of this tube. When you thread the moderator in, it doesn't hang off the barrel. In fact, it kind of just sits 
with a little gap between the barrel and the end of this. They can get away with that because the bore is 30 caliber for the moderator when you're actually shooting a 25 caliber pellet. So it gives you five hundredths of an inch of wiggle room so you don't end up with baffle strikes. But that means that you're going to get very minimal point of impact shift because you don't have this moderator hanging off of the barrel itself changing its harmonics. It just quickly threads in like this and then seats nice and tight on the end of the frame. As cool as the moderator is, I think the coolest thing to come out of the Airgun Depot Air Force collaboration is this adjustable stock. It looks very much like the stocks that are already on Air Force air guns, but it has this extension piece here and this thumb wheel here. All you have to do is loosen that by a couple turns and then you can slide this on the barrel to whatever length you want and tighten it back down. And of course, this is what's available standard on the Talon P, but I think you're gonna find these available separately so you can upgrade any Air Force air gun to this adjustable stock. You don't have to run these full power all the time like I do. <laughs> it has an adjustable hammer spring with a wide range of adjustments and you don't need tools. You can just use your thumb and it takes a little bit of pressure to get started. But as you crank this down, you'll start to see, and this is hard to do on camera, there we go. You can see that screw head is starting to move down this way and between its position on this series of gauges and its position here, you can repeat your adjustments, which is gonna get you a very close point of impact when you return to this. I would re-zero anytime you would make adjustments on the power setting, but at least you're gonna get close by using the settings and repeating the settings exactly. Another cool feature of the Talon P, which of course the Talon P carbine has, is the spin lock system here. It allows this area of the air gun to be a lot smaller than if you had to have the room to screw the bottle in the back and, and be able to make clearance for the gauge and for the fill port on this side. And it's basically, you can see right there, a castle nut and there's a little bit of a, a lock screw here. This is what keeps you from having to really crank this castle nut down. They include the spanner wrench for this and, and I found actually it's easiest to do with the, the Talon P upright like this. You want to make sure you're not banging the gauge off of the receiver while you're doing this and you're going to get it to a point where you're going to be able to just reach in there with your fingers. There we go. You can see the castle nut right there. Put that back in place. And that way you can bring extra bottles in the field or you can upgrade to larger bottles. In fact, the whole Talon P is modular just like every other Air Force air gun. Not only can you change out bottles, but you can change out barrels to a wide variety of bores and lengths as well. Spin this back on and then you just snug it down. You don't want to put it too tight. Get everything straight. And then this is what you want to tighten the lock screw just like that. And then you're good to go. And as with all Air Force air guns, the Talon P carbine is made in the USA and it's covered by a lifetime warranty. I've been really impressed with the groups that I'm getting and these are heavy pellets. I have the stock extended all the way. That means that my cheek weld is back here, but it's been working fine. One of the issues with a three MOA dot is that it covers the bullseye. So I'm kind of aiming from the corners of the, the bigger diamond. Not ideal, but it's been working well enough. I'll tell you, this is going to be good enough for planking 
and taking out critters one more let's go take a look <laughs> wow gotta love that that's fantastic for me with a red dot I'm I'm awful with red dots so I am really happy with that five shot group I could definitely cut that in half maybe even smaller if I were using a magnified optic <laughs> I'm almost 50 I'm, I'm weeks away from 50 years old and and uh, red dots are good enough for what I need to do but for any kind of precision shooting even at 25 yards I need at least a crosshair a very fine crosshair to get the most out of something like the Talon P suppressed but but I am super happy with that all right let's try something fun let's try a watermelon probably just put a hole through it but let's see what happens nonetheless oh that sounded nice I love that sound <laughs> seeing pieces of something fly around out there I tell you this is really easy to cock and and load and get ready for another shot you just need to remember to take the safety off each each time. I'm trying not to hit the same exact spot, but I think that's going to start happening. <laughs> there we go. It's still busting up that watermelon. I'll do a couple more. Nice. Okay, let's try something else. Oh, it smells like watermelon. You can see the juice sitting there on the box. Let's take a look at the back. <gasps> Whoa! Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh. There's a hole all the way through. Oh yeah, baby. That is way better than I thought I was going to see. That's impressive. And this is just match ammo. This isn't even really, it's not expanding ammo. Oh, that is fantastic. Love it. Love it. That was fantastic. That came out way better than I was expecting. Let's try some apples. I, these might downright explode getting hit. Nice! <laughs> Turned him into a canoe. Yeah, I think I'm just shooting the same hole. But this is, this would be so much fun with younger shooters. Because this is pretty darn powerful, but you don't need ear pro. There's no recoil. It's a single shot, so... That makes it a lot safer. They're not gonna make a shot and then muzzle sweep people with a loaded gun when they get super excited about it. I've seen that lots and not, not just with kids, with, with grown adults. There you go. That's why even with mag fed, firearms, air guns, whatever, when I'm shooting with new shooters, I, I start them loaded one at a time. <laughs> All right, I think the apples have had enough. I don't know how different this is gonna be, but I wanna shoot a pineapple. So I'm gonna shoot a pineapple. Well, saw some juice fly back at me. Don't know what that's gonna look like on a close-up cam. Doesn't sound quite as satisfying as hitting a watermelon. I bet the back looks just like that watermelon did now. But you know, this goes to show you, I'd have no problems whacking raccoons or possums or foxes with this. 
we used to have chickens running all around here. If you see some of my earlier videos from 40 years ago and earlier, you might have seen chickens in some of the videos. Uh, but our newest Malinois, the general you might have seen in some other videos, he and the chickens were incompatible. And so we had to give them away. But I did my fair share of dispatching possums. I never caught a raccoon. They were always gone by the time I got out. Um, and I tried to get a fox. But again, I never, I never had a shooty thing when I saw the fox. And usually it was somewhere else in the neighborhood. We only saw the aftermath here. But that would do the trick right there. Not very dramatic on the front, but I could see tons of pineapple on the back there. It came from somewhere. Let's turn this around. Oh, these are spiky. Oh yeah, it's mush on the inside. <laughs> yeah, I can stick my hand in it. It's all, yeah. Oh, it's, there you go. I barely broke it. It was just strings. Look at that. That's going to be the inside of a, of a critter if you hit it with those pellets. That's amazing. And for how accurate it is, it's quiet. It's super, super lightweight. I love it, love it, love it. I'm so glad they made it. This little can makes a huge difference in noise. And I'm really impressed with the simplicity of this adjustable buttstock. Of course, I really shouldn't be surprised because I'm impressed with everything new that comes out of Air Force air guns. Their guns look spacey and all, but they're really not that fancy. They're built extremely well though, and they're built right here in the US. Speaking about being impressed, Travis from Airgun Depot has put up a very exhaustive video on accuracy at different ranges as well as velocities, and I'm going to link to it in the video description as well as put a card somewhere around here for you to get to that. The guy can shoot. He is crazy good with this. Way better than I can be with a red dot, especially out to, I think he was shooting out to 50 yards with it, shooting really, really tight groups. I didn't want to repeat that video here, which is why I focused on the fun. But if that's the kind of thing that interests you to learn about the Talon P carbine, you've got that video to turn to. The Talon P carbine MSRPs for $893 but you can get it for only $740 outfitted like you see right here from Air Gun Depot if you use the link in the video description. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.